Today I'm making strawberry freezer jam. If you've never had this before, you're really missing out. It tastes like fresh strawberries. This jam isn't canned, it's frozen, and it's very easy to make. For each batch, you'll need one quart of strawberries that have been washed and capped. They need to be crushed, and one of the easiest ways to do that is to put them in a blender. Just pulse the blender a few times. Don't puree the berries. Jam is supposed to have bits of fruit in it. You could also crush the berries with a potato masher if you don't have a blender. For each batch, you need two cups of crushed berries and four cups of sugar. Mix that together well and let it stand for 10 minutes, stirring occasionally. Now, in a small saucepan, mix together three quarters cup of water and one box of sure gel. Bring that to a boil and boil it for one minute, stirring constantly. Remove it from the heat, then add the pectin mixture to the strawberries, stirring it constantly for about three minutes until the sugar is dissolved. If a few sugar crystals remain, that's fine. Pour the jam into containers, leaving half inch space at the top to allow for expansion during freezing. I usually save my plastic peanut butter jars for this, but they're all full already. Glass canning jars can be used. Straight sided ones are preferable, but if you use standard jars, don't fill them past the shoulder of the jar because expansion during freezing could crack the jars. After the jars are full, put the lid on and let the jam stand at room temperature for 24 hours to set. Then store in the freezer for up to one year and in the refrigerator for up to three weeks. So that's how I make strawberry freezer jam. I hope it helps. 